This video is protected under Creative Commons License Attribution 4.0 International. Hello! Today, we're going to look at how to use the Gale In Context database and the advanced search feature to explore resources that you can use while composing your final project for the Guided Inquiry unit. Remember, your Guided Inquiry project requires you to use both one news article and one academic journal article as sources. We'll keep this in mind as we look at our demonstration. All right, here we go. Last week, we went over how to access our library's collection of databases through the school's LibGuide. For the sake of our demonstration today, I have our Gale database prepared. However, if you forget how to access this database, please don't hesitate to contact me or a member of the educational technology team. Now, before I demonstrate how to use the advanced search function, I'd first like to demonstrate for you why this is a useful tool and how it can turn your frustration into optimism. Say, for instance, I would like more information on the Turkish-Kurdish conflict. I'll use our basic search box up here to type in Turkish-Kurdish conflict. I hit the magnifying glass to bring us our results. We have one audio clip, six magazines, and 26 news articles related to our search. Now, because this is such a widely researched and widely publicized conflict, I can assume that this is not a great selection of resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the advanced search page. Okay, so now we're on the advanced search screen. I've gone ahead and filled in our new advanced search to save us some time, but what you can see here is that instead of simply typing in Kurdish-Turkish conflict into the basic search, I've used logical operators here down on the left side. What this means is I'm telling the system, hey, I want you to look for the word Kurdish or Turkish conflict. So now we're searching for Kurdish or Turkish conflict or we're searching for Turkey and Kurdistan, or PKK, or ongoing conflict. So in essence, I've told the system to do multiple searches all at once. This isn't the only feature of advanced search. We can also limit our search to full text documents, peer-reviewed journals, documents containing images, level documents, and, relevant to us, we can search by publication date. Now, as you remember, the Kurdish-Turkish conflict has been going on since the 80s, and so there's going to be a lot of news articles out there. So let's go ahead and refine our search by date, looking at 2016. And we can also refine our search using these content type boxes. As I already mentioned, we know we need to use at least one academic article or I'm sorry, academic journal in our guided inquiry project, and we have to use one news article. So we're telling the system, hey, I only want news articles, and I only want academic journals. For the sake of our demonstration today, let's also see what magazine articles come up and what primary sources come up. For today, we're not going to worry about document type or content level. And let's search. Okay, so now we can already tell we got way more results using the advanced search with 368 magazines, 3,000 news articles, 44 academic journals. To search through each of these categories, simply click on the link and it'll take you to all the news articles, all the academic journals, and all the magazine articles relevant to our filters and search terms. Okay, so just to recap, using the Gale In Context Advanced Search, you can use logical operators to, re to retrieve more focused results. You can limit results by publication year, and you can filter content by type. And that's all, folks. I hope this resource will help you find meaningful and engaging information as we enter the last stages of our Guided Inquiry Unit. Good luck!